I want to talk about the fruits of a disciple. That is the life of a disciple. Jesus mentioned certain marks, certain characteristics, certain traits, of, if you will, of a person who was his disciple. Number one, he said, a disciple walks in love. Number two, a disciple bears increasing fruit. Number three, a disciple does the works of the master. Number four, a disciple makes more disciples. And number five, a disciple lives and dies for the master. Number one, the first character trait or expression outcome of fruit in the life of a disciple is this, a disciple walks in love. And then Jesus said, through this, everyone will know you are my disciples. I mean, this is the mark. This is the trait. Uh, this is the identification of somebody who's my disciple. The second uh, character trait or, or fruits or outcome of being a disciple of Jesus, uh, we find in the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John, Jesus talks about the relationship that he has with his disciples. He says, I am the wine, you are the branches. So he's, he's using this analogy, this picture of a wine with its branches and the branches on the wine bearing fruit. And he says, if you abide in me and I abide in you, you will bear fruit. What is the fruit that Jesus was talking about uh, that you and I should be aware of? Number one, the fruit is Christ's character expressed. Number two, the fruit is Christ's desires fulfilled. And number three, fruit is Christ's assignment accomplished. First, I said this, fruit is Christ's character expressed to us. Why do I say that? The, the fruit the branches bear express the life of the wine flowing through them. The second aspect of fruit that Jesus mentions here in John 15 is that it's, it, the fruit is Christ's desires fulfilled. He says, you know, if you abide in me, verse 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you ask what you desire and it will be done for you. And again, in verse 16, he says, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. There is something that goes into this whole thing of asking what we desire. Jesus explains this. He says, you are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I've called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. The third fruit that we see here is in John 15 verse 16. It's the fruit of Christ's assignment accomplished through each one of us. You bear increasing fruit and that is a sign that you are my disciple. The third one is this, a disciple does the works of the master. Jesus called them to be with him. And then he said, I'm gonna send you up and you're gonna do the same works that I am doing. Number four, the fourth trait of a disciple is this, a disciple makes more disciples. And this is the commission Jesus gave in Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20. He said, go and make disciples of all the nations. So as his disciples, we are out there to make more disciples. And number five, the last one is this, a disciple lives and dies for the master. The world is going to be against you. They're not going to understand what you say, what you do, the values you live for, why you live like this. You'll be hated by all men for my name's sake, but you've got to endure to the end. Jesus didn't say it'll be easy to be his disciple. He said people will hate you. And even to the point where some of us may have to martyr, be martyred, we have to give up our lives. But a disciple is somebody who lives and dies for the master. I want you to pay attention to this. Not all of us will die as martyrs, but all of us can lay down our lives for the cause of Christ. I like what Revelation 12 and verse 11 says, talking about these believers during the tribulation. It says, they overcame the adversary to Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives. They did not love their lives to the, to the death. That means to the point of death, they were willing to lay it down for the, their testimony in Jesus Christ.